Hello again and welcome. This is part three of our video called Baby Portrait. As you can see, in this tutorial you're trying to explain how to use, how to combine watercolor pencils with watercolors in order to paint realistic portrait of a baby. Follow my moves and watch what I'm doing. In this area I want to preserve white color on baby's nose. And gray color will help me to put the shade on baby's chin and baby's cheek. This is really a wonderful challenge. Baby's hair is restless like in every child. This only increases baby's charm and I'm using watercolor pencils in order to create baby's hair. For the baby's hair, we will use brown and orange color mixed together. That was in our previous step when we used watercolors. In this moment, I'm using watercolor pencils in order to create baby's hair. And now I'm using black watercolor pencil. in order to obtain darker tones of baby's hair. Baby's hair is restless, like in every child. And this only increases baby's charm, so I want to paint baby's restless hair Watch what I'm doing, follow my moves with watercolor pencils, how I change the direction when I use watercolor pencil. As I said before, you can put the pencil in the clean water and use it. Use it after that. Or you may use dry pencil on the wet paper. I'm using dry pencils for this portrait. Sometimes you need to press harder when you use your watercolor pencils and sometimes you need to be careful and press it gently. In this moment I have to press harder in order to create shadows inside baby's hair. But sometimes I need to press the paper gently by the pencil. And now 
and easy. Mixture of um, brown and white. And um, I'm trying to create shade on baby's forehead. But as you can see, I leave some parts untacked in white, whiter tones. I want to preserve those tones and I'm using a thin brush again I'm using the top of my brush in order to create a soft transitions between the layers of colors the previous layers of colors if you have the impression that there are some hard edges when you apply any color, then the solution to your problem is simply to add a little bit of clean water on that part and you will have soft edges. We have discussed about soft and hard edges in our lecture about watercolor techniques. I have to put a little bit of this color under the chin, the area of baby's neck. You cannot actually see the neck, but we know that it's there and we need to color it. This really looks amazing. It gets better and better with every step. Watch the way I'm holding the brush. Follow my moves with the brush. That's my advice for you. And now I'm using lifting technique with the help of paper towel. This is really a wonderful challenge. I'm so happy that I have a chance to present you how I paint baby's portrait. As I said before, regarding face painting, you should always keep in mind that baby's skin tone must be gentle and nice. We want the skin to look like that. I'm still using the lifting technique. And this is just a little bit of clean water and I lifted color from the top of baby's nose. It really looks amazing. The effect is wonderful. Let's go back to baby's little hand. We're going to use the mixture of brown and white color, but white color prevails in this mixture. So you may not have the impression that this is really brown color. You have to experiment with your 
of color palette and before you start painting baby's portrait you need to try different mixtures of color in order to get the right skin tone for your portrait. And let's go back to baby's little blue glove. Follow my nose with the brush. Baby's little hand hides inside this blue glove. Now you just need to follow my moves with watercolor pencils and watercolors and to have patience for this cute challenge. And now I'm using dark blue. Follow my moves with the brush and be patient, please, because we're going to observe very important moves that I 